Hey students, proceeding to the other question, you are given a rectangular prism with edges made by three vectors u, v, and w as you see. The question is to find the area of its total surfaces. Students, <coughs> as you know, a prism has six faces where <coughs> a pair of three uh, faces are uh, basically having congruent area. So what we need to do is we first try to calculate okay three uh, rectangular regions area and then we just multiply that by two. So the procedure goes like this. So the first thing that we need to do is you see we have to find the cross product of either u cross v or u cross w or v cross w, v cross w as we wish. Anyway, the total surface area is going to be twice of. The norm of u cross w plus the norm of u cross v plus the norm of v cross what w this is what we need to do because the norm of the arbitrary two vectors of uh, the given uh, vectors make the area of the rectangular region or the area of the face of what the prism that is what we need to do so the total surface area is going to be two into norm of u cross w plus norm of u cross v plus norm of v cross w so we are now forced to know or to determine these three so let me show you how this can be done first we have to calculate v cross w we have been given that v is a vector having component 2 minus 3 and minus 1 and vector w is a vector with component 1 1 minus 3 as it has been given here it is 1 1 minus 3 so i j k components are going to be written so u components are labeled here in the first in the first row and uh, the w components are written in the last uh, row as you see now what we need to do is we have to what use uh, the technique to find cross product between two vectors so delete the first row and the first column you are left with this in trace so what we need to do is minus three multiple to minus three nine comes minus Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, minus minus mix plus, so you are left with 9 plus 1i. And then this minus comes directly because of this minus 1. And then delete the first row and the second column. Then you are left with 2 times minus 3, minus 6, minus. You need to multiply negative 1 with 1, minus 1. So minus 6, minus minus 1, mix minus 6 plus 1. And coming to the last one, the k component, this is obtained directly by deleting the first row and the third column during this case you are left with these four entries so what you need to do is you need to multiply the diagonals two times one it's going to be two minus you need to multiply these diagonal entries minus non diagonal entries i mean minus three times one makes minus three so two minus minus three makes five so you are left with this so when you take the sum of this you are left with 10i plus 5j and uh, 5k so we need to find now v cross w because this v cross w is required here as you see so the norm is the square the sum of the square of what the components under radical so this is going to be the square root of 10 square plus 5 square plus 5 square which actually is 150 and that is nothing but it is 5 radical 6. now coming to the second one now we determined you see the, this one so we are now left with uh, two norms so let's proceed Similarly, students apply a similar procedure. Norm of u, uh, the norm of u cross w can be obtained by using this approach. First, we need to label, you see, the components of u, 1 minus 2, 1, as you see. Components of w directly taken, 1, 1 minus 3. So you need to now find the cross product of the two, as I tried to explain earlier. And as you do that, you are coming across with this kind of expression, 6 minus 1i minus minus 3 minus 1j plus 1 plus 2k. So this makes 5i and plus 4j and 3k. So as you are looking for the norm of this, you are having the square root of 25 plus 16 plus 9. And this makes what, students? This makes 5 radical 2. So what is obtained now? The norm of u cross w is obtained. So now we determined the norm of the first one and the last one. So we are left with now the norm of the middle one. So now let's calculate the norm of u cross v. So as I did in the first two cases, u cross v is obtained directly by doing this. And applying the same procedure, we can come across with 
a, a vector with this output student 5i plus 3j plus k so we need to look for the norm again this is going to be 25 plus 9 plus 1 and this comes to be radical 35 so students now we are having three outputs one here 5 radical 6 5 radical 2 radical 35 each represent the area of the faces so we are having two coherent faces so we need to multiply this by two in order to well, determine two of the faces of the prism to the area of the face of the prism you do the same here you do the same here so as you are doing this you are going to take two times of this sum these three uh, sum so you already do have this one the total surface area is going to be two times this one the reason why we multiply by two is because we are having six faces so three faces are already obtained since we are having identical faces we need to multiply by two that is, is the reason why we are multiplying what uh, by two this is uh, all about question number five what comes next is question number six and here you are asked to find the volume of the prism which which, has, which was given in question number five above so the ages are already determined so what we need to do is in order to determine the volume we need to carry out the absolute value of the triple product of u v and w here you are free to use another approach too like v dot u cross w or w dot u cross v as you wish as long as you are taking absolute value in whatever way you may calculate the result is the same so we have to use absolute value don't forget that the volume of any sort of rectangular prism not only that volume should be given okay in terms of a positive value so what is going to come now is this one as we did before v cross w is already done students the v components are as you see W components are as you see here so the cross product of the two uh, is already actually obtained here I repeat that so 10 I plus 5 J plus 5 K please you go you can return back and we knew the components of U. so the components of U are here 1 minus 2 1 so already V cross W is obtained so you can take 10 I plus 5 J plus 5 K so you can take the components as you see so the next task is a matter of finding the absolute value of the dot product of the two. So this is going to be 1 times 10, 10, then this is minus 10, and 1 times 5 is 5. So as you are calculating this, you are coming with number 5. So this number 5 shows that the volume of the prism, you see, made by uh, age of those three vectors is uh, number 5. So the amount of matter that, I mean, that can be contained within the prism is 5 unit cube. And proceeding to the next one, we are having now another what question, and that is uh, this one, students, and it is about it is about uh, determining what students the uh, certain what certain. So here, what we need to do is you see you are given three vectors, three vertices of a triangle with a minus 1 to minus 1 b to minus 1 1 and c 1 minus 2 3 so you are asked now to determine the area of this triangle from a certain fixed reference consider origin three points were taken as a b and c so the question is to find the area of the triangular region made by these three vertices so what we need to do is students we need to recall the concept of cartesian products or cross products between vectors and its norms when we come to the area of what a triangle so we need to record that so what comes next is the solution the solution goes like this so what we need to do is the following one so first we have to determine these three vectors vector, these two vectors vector a b and vector uh, a c so vector a b is nothing but it is uh, obtained by deducting you see components of vector uh, a I mean point a from b and that is obtained as you see like this vector a b is this one so what you need to do is you have to subtract you see um, like you have to like this 2 minus minus 1 which actually is what 3 and you proceed negative 1 minus 2 1 minus minus 1 so you do like this this represents vector a b so you need to what students you need to deduct the terminal I mean the initial point from the terminal one so you are left with this vector vector a b is going to be like this do the same for vector a c for vector a c you do the same 
What you need to do is you have to deduct this 1 minus minus 1 it will be positive 2. And here minus 2 minus 2 makes minus 4. 3 minus minus 1 makes 4. So these two vectors are now given or obtained. What we need to do is we have to determine, you see, we have to determine the cross product of these two vectors AB and vectors AC. Because the cross product of vector AB and the vector AC can determine, students, the vector normal to these two vectors, vector AB and vector AC. And this norm represents the area of, you see, the rectangular region. But as we are taking half of the area of the rectangular region, we are going to obtain the area of the triangle. So the area of the triangle is going to be half of the norm of the vector AB cross with vector AC. So we need to now look for, you see, the cross product of these two vectors, vector AB and vector AC. Have A here, students. So components of vector AB are 3 minus 3, 2. The components of vector AC are 2 minus 4, 4. So as we are looking for the cross product of this uh, Two, you are having I minus JK, so label components of A, A B as three minus three two, components of AC two minus four four. Now performed cross product of these two. So as as I tried to explain, for the first I component, delete the first uh, uh, column in the first row. You are left with this entry, so this is negative three times four negative twelve, and this is two times minus four minus eight minus twelve minus minus eight makes minus twelve plus eight. As I wrote here that minus comes and again here what you need to do is for the j component delete what the second column in the first row you are left with 12 minus 4 which actually is uh, 8 but you need to have minus in front as i wrote here and for the k component delete the first row and the third column you are left with minus 12 plus 6 right so you do have now minus 6i minus 8j minus 6k as an output so now we need to determine the norm of the obtained what cross product look as you are looking for the norm what you need to do is try to take the sum of the square of what these components it's minus 6 squared minus 8 squared and minus 6 squared in doing so you can have 36 64 36 so when you add all this inside this radical you're going to obtain the area of what the rectangle but you are now looking for the area of the triangle the area of the triangle is half of the area of what the rectangle so what we need to do is take half of this the obtained answer so when you take half of the obtained answer you are going to get the what students the area of the triangle so the area of the triangle is going to be radical 39 this the area of the region is radical 39